Hi folks, Ken Rust here with Louisiana Pond Management. Welcome to fall. Although it's going to be 90 degrees, we will drop into the 50s in South Louisiana this weekend. And we're looking forward to that. And uh, there's several things that are going to be going on with your ponds and lakes. One, the temperature is going to mix right now. There's still layering and stratification in ponds where the warm water is on top, cool water is on the bottom unless you have mixing aeration in place to uh, keep that out of out of play and that's going to bring some chemical biological changes going on in the pond your fish are going to slow down a little bit on their feeding and um, it's also a great time to stock forage species as the weather cools so the they can be hauled more um, safely with a better margin of safety with the cooler weather and the uh, the cooler water to stock in so it's a great time to stock forage species. We're also going to get our leaf litter that's going to drop from the fall leaves that down here may not drop until December. But uh, anyway, that's going to add a lot of debris and, and nutrients to your pond and lake. And uh, anyway, this lake is, is doing wonderful as we enter the fall. And just wanted to show you some of the results of stocking good forage as we get into fall. So think Red ear sunfish, think copper nose and native bluegill, think uh, threadfin shad uh, if you have a larger pond or a lake, and also think fathead minnows just to support the growth and continued growth of largemouth bass as we try to develop fisheries for largemouth bass and sunfish um, uh, throughout the year. So here's, I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, you can see some of the uh, results of stocking good forage, having good water quality and supporting that. So just a handful of feed out here. See, we love to see the adults out here feeding, but also lots of great reproduction is, is evident by the fact that we have so many tiny fish out here. The bass that we stocked back in in uh, late June, we'll have no problem looking for fish to eat as they grow, and it's going to keep them on a great growth curve. Also, we've got a great feeder out here, Texas Hunter, and that's feeding on a regular basis. And uh, But you might want to slow down as the weather cools just to make sure that we're not overfeeding our fish and leaving any uneaten feed in the pond. And... Uh, Milo, my ever-present companion, is always uh, a little more frisky once we get into cool weather, and he likes to run around the pond. Y'all have a great fall. Call us at 308-4145 in Baton Rouge if you need any fish stocked, if you have any questions about your pond, or if you need any products. We're glad to help.